there have been times where you've been at the lowest barrel of the you know i call it the bottom of the barrel moment that bat- bottom of the barrel moment can be because of personal loss it could be because of uh, personal situations and trauma that one goes through today i'm very very grateful that you spoke about your first marriage because i knew it but the world doesn't right and the world doesn't know about how you dealt with it there was another incident that happened recently and i know that you still not been able to perhaps acknowledge and deal with that problem but that is a bottom of the barrel moment i have had several bottom of the barrel moments i'm very fortunate that i have not had bottom of the barrel moments with respect to death of a near and a dear one but i've had bottom of the barrel moments in terms of where my mental sanity my mental wellness my mental acceptance of me being the way it is could have got questioned one thing that i recalibrated at that time is that when you're at that bottom if you acknowledge and accept it and it goes back to what you stated a little while earlier that learn to accept the situation that you're in so if you learn to accept that that is the bottom most moment the only direction from there onwards will be up yeah but that power to accept and therefore recalibrate the mind to again look at it optimistically how difficult is it they say entrepreneurs are eternally optimist i personally believe because i wouldn't be able to do what i'm doing otherwise if i wasn't honestly and i've gone through my own journey you you're aware of some of it as a very dear friend of mine but how difficult is it to recalibrate that mindset to say that in respect of the shit that i'm dealing with i recognize this is my bottom most and from here onwards i can only go up take take us through that mindset and give your thought and context of advice to a lot of our viewers who would be in that very very you know perceptive very impressionable age where they are going through their calls their decisions their thought process and maybe they be- believe that that's the worst moment for them because they're failing and yet they don't know going forward that there's a new sunrise on another day so take us through that no i think i think that's very important and i keep telling my kids this that you think this is and you know at that age even small things can you know appear like it's oh my life has ended i sometimes i take out my diaries from my school days and i laugh at myself because at the, during those teenage years something so small would you know i have written things like oh my life has ended today that kind of stuff right and that's how you think at that age uh so i think now i have realized that uh everything passes you will survive and you will live to see another day and hopefully a better day if not tomorrow then the next day that is something and lot of things that we think is oh my god what's going to happen today will not matter a year down the line or two years down the line i think that is something i keep reminding myself and something i think everyone should do if it's not something that probably will uh, come back to haunt you two years down the line three years down the line even three months down the line don't spend too much time you know worrying about it now to you know really bottom really uh, low moments for me one was the divorce i've already talked about it i looked at it as something i had to do for myself and that is something i mean i know a lot of people who are in really unhappy marriages just because they are scared they are worried what society will say all i have to say is and this is something i think my parents have drilled into my head my sister has drilled into my head that ultimately look at what is going to make you happy those people you are worried about society you are worried about they are not going to come and take care of your kids take care of your unhappy unhappiness it's you so if it's not if you are not happy about something then do something to change it 
so i took that big step my family was with me all the way through um my kids daughter was just 1 year old and then i went on to marry this amazing man you know vijay if i had not made that decision that life changing decision because of fear of society or what's going to happen i wouldn't have married the second time and uh he's an excellent father to my kids um very very supportive to everything i do so i mean i forgot your question what was <laughs> the original question was the question but, question is about how do you know that at the bottom of the barrel of yes, the moment yes. you can still recalibrate to understand that if you accept this yeah. and then make the changes the only way up yes yeah, so, only direction is going yeah so at that point i did not have the it i was still very young i didn't have the wisdom to know all of that so it was all done with two three intentions one is to make sure my kids are happy i didn't know i'll marry again i was all set to be a single mom raising my kids by myself but i knew that i was making the right decision um, and uh, but now when i look back yes i mean that was a very low point in my life but since then i have only where relationships are concerned whether it's with my kids for my kids and with uh, from a marriage perspective it's just been upward so yeah i mean sometimes you just need to make that difficult decision um and support having that family support i think is that's where the life boat comes yeah yeah absolutely. family is a form of life boat there was a second moment that you were talking about that i'm still not <laughs> ready to talk about um so then we'll avoid it yeah so my so dad i know about it yeah my i lost my dad uh, 